I do some pure art in terms of, you know, uh, drawing and painting and carving. Um, but I also do a lot of very practical stuff. I've built, uh, I think, 16 boats over my lifetime. This is one of them. If I can find a way to put a duck shape on there, I do. Of course, uh, it won't be surprising that many people, when they know that I worked in conservation my whole life and they see the artwork that I do, I obviously have a reverence for all these birds. Then they find out I'm a hunter and a lot of them are surprised. It's like, how can you kill those things that you love? And it really comes down to the difference between being a spectator and being a participant. A certain part of me wants to be a participant. I've uh, thought about this a lot and uh, it's, it's definitely a part of me and something that you know, I just hope to do uh, forever. The bald eagle, as everybody knows, uh, has become just wonderfully common. They'll come out and they'll study those decoys very carefully because they think they're live birds and they're looking for one that might be a good prey item. Occasionally, you'll be all of a sudden surprised by a whole bunch of ducks flying down over your decoys. You know, well, what caused that? And then 30 seconds later, here comes this eagle that <laughs> chased them down right to you. So we never really expected to have a partner uh, when we're hunting in the bald eagle, but uh, they've unwittingly served that purpose more than once. <laughs>